Hello guys, how are you doing today? Are you good? So, this class we're going to talk about the game that happened between Argentina and England in the Mexico World Cup quarterfinals. That was the game that Maradona scored his most famous goal using the hand of God. Alright? So, let's take a look at the verbs that we have in this class. So, we have to beat, to have, to set, to achieve, to score, to name, to thank, to play, to send, and to watch. Okay? So, home practice. Home practice is on page 1574. Okay? This exercise, we have four questions that we are going to answer as junior senior master. Okay? So, the first letter A. You're going to write down all the verbs that you can find in the past, okay? So we have was, had, had achieved, scored, named, played, watched, had deleted, and should have been, all right? Then, in letter B, you have to write what's, your, what's the opinion of the author about Maradona's goals, okay? The hand of God goal was controversial, but the second goal, the goal of the century, was the logical next step from a player who was set on doing something no other player had achieved, utter perfection. Okay? Letter C. Describe the most important goal according to the author. Okay? It corresponds to the first and last paragraphs, basically. Okay, so we have, it was a logical conclusion to everything the player and his team had been working towards, and Diego never liked to leave much doubt in anything he set his mind to. He was not content with Mer being the genius behind one of the most difficult, beautiful, and important moments in Argentine football history. He wanted to change the world of football forever. Okay? Letter D. Describe, in your opinion, the most important goal that you have already seen. Okay? The answer that we have is the most important goal that I have seen was Ronaldinho's Gaúcho goal, Ronaldinho's Gaúcho's goal against England in 2002 World Cup. Alright? So, guys. Let's go to the review. This review, we're going to work with past perfect and also the simple past, okay? What is past perfect? Past perfect is an action that happened before another action in the past, okay? So, we have two events in the past. The first event will be the past perfect. The second event will be the simple past. So, when do I use past perfect? I'm going to use past perfect when I want to talk about events that are chronologically related, okay? So, I need to emphasize that this is the first event and after happened the second. That's the moment that I use past perfect, okay? So, let's take a look at the structure. The structure is subject plus had been, oh, sorry, plus had plus the verb in the past participle, the complement, and then we have a second sentence. In order to have a second sentence, we need connectors, okay? So, we are going to have a connector, and after, a second sentence that will be in the simple past, okay? Let's talk about this connector. The connector can be in the first sentence, okay? So, we are normally, we are going to use simple past, connector past perfect or the connector between the past perfect and the simple past. That's the structure that I've presented. Okay? Guys, let's go to the examples. So, the first example we have is Pelé had beaten Maradona when he turned off the video game. That's the affirmative one. Negative. Kaká hadn't scored any prize before he went to Europe. The interrogative, had Neymar played in any local team before he went to Santos? Alright? 
Guys, if you have any problems, don't forget to ask us on our online classes, okay? Subscribe the video, leave your comments, and see you next time. Bye-bye.